Don't tell anybody and they'll never know that it's gluten free. This pie is comfort food at its best. And it's a wonderful addition to your Thanksgiving or fall holiday table. And you can make this filling from raw pumpkin, but not all pumpkins are edible. Now, before you get all frugal after a day of carving pumpkins and decide to make your pie filling from scratch, make sure that you use the right pumpkins. Look for either organic Cinderella pumpkins or organic sugar pie pumpkins, or skip the fresh pumpkin flesh altogether and buy organic canned pumpkin puree. I bought this from Costco and it is delicious. These are jack-o'-lantern or Howden pumpkins. They are not terribly sweet. These monsters are not pumpkins at all. They're gourds. Ornamental gourds and hybrid garden squash are also known as cucorbits and should not be eaten. Some cucorbits are toxic and contain cucorb... 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 Anyway, they're highly irritating and bitter. The most challenging part of making this pumpkin pie is the gluten-free crust. And I purchased this book from America's Test Kitchen and it was worth every penny. America's Test Kitchen did all the legwork for us and gave us a foundation for a gluten-free flour base that you can use for dozens of recipes in this book. So far, what I've made, like their English muffins and gluten-free multi-grain bread, is fantastic. Prepare and advance the recipe in the book for their ATK all-purpose flour. I store mine in this airtight container in a cool place and the recipes for everything here is in the description down below. There is little room for deviation, so follow their pie crust recipe to the T. Start by cutting 112 grams of sweet butter into quarter inch or six millimeter squares. The recipe measures the butter in tablespoons, but I got the best results when I weighed everything out in grams. Put those in the freezer for 10 to 15 minutes. In a bowl, add seven and a half milliliters or a teaspoon and a half of sugar, half a teaspoon or two and a half milliliters of salt, and a quarter teaspoon or one and a quarter milliliters of xanthan gum. Add the ATK gluten-free flour blend, 184 grams of it. Add all that to the food processor and give it a blend for a few seconds. Now in a separate bowl, whisk together three tablespoons or 45 grams of ice water, 23 grams of sour cream, and eight grams of rice wine vinegar. Add the frozen butter to the flour and give it 20 to 30 pulses just until the butter is fully incorporated into the flour. Drizzle in half the liquid mixture into the butter and flour. Give it three pulses. Add the remaining liquid and pulse it about 20 times or until it forms a ball around the blade. Form the dough into a five inch disc onto plastic wrap. This has to be refrigerated for a minimum of one and a half hours or up to two days. When you're ready to make your pie, take the pie crust dough out of the refrigerator and let it sit on the counter at room temperature for about a half an hour. Form it into a nine inch pie pan. I use pie weights to keep the crust from warping and I add my crust into an oven preheated at 375 degrees or 109 degrees Celsius. Everybody's oven is different, so keep checking the pie crust and rotate it once in a while until it's a light golden brown. After the crust is out of the oven, raise the temperature of the oven to 425 degrees or 220 degrees Celsius. While the pie crust is baking in the oven, prepare the pumpkin filling. In a food processor, add a 15 to 16 ounce or 425 to 450 gram can of prepared pumpkin puree or whatever pumpkin puree you've chosen to use. Two teaspoons each or 10 milliliters of cinnamon and ginger. One teaspoon or five milliliters of freshly ground nutmeg. Half a teaspoon or two and a half milliliters of salt. Quarter teaspoon or one and a quarter milliliters of ground cloves and seven ounces or 200 grams of dark brown sugar. Blend it all together and transfer the mix to a saucepan onto a medium high heat. Stir constantly until the mix has a nice shine to it or at least five minutes. Add 160 grams of heavy cream and 160 grams of milk. Whisk it in and stir until it bubbles. Now back in the food processor, blend together four large organic eggs and slowly add the hot pumpkin mix to the eggs. 
not too fast or the eggs will curdle. This is called tempering the eggs. Before you add the pie filling, the crust is gonna have to cool, but don't let it cool too much. Somewhere between slightly uncomfortably hot to the touch or reasonably warm. Pour the pumpkin pie filling into the crust and bake it in the oven for about 25 minutes. You have to monitor it, again, because everybody's oven is different. When there's a slight jiggle in the center and the rest is firm, take it out of the oven and let it cool for at least two hours before serving it. Oh my God. This pie is delicious. A couple of tips though. You wanna to try to eat it a few hours after you bake it. You have to make it and eat it. If you have to serve it the next day, you must refrigerate it and that will make the crust kinda of hard. Take a skillet like this one. It'll fit the entire pie and the pan inside of it. Heat this skillet up to 200 degrees Fahrenheit or about 95 degrees Celsius. Put the entire pie in the pan on a safe surface about an hour before you serve it. That will warm up the crust just enough so it's more flaky. When this is served fresh, you're gonna have a hard time. You'll be hard pressed to tell the difference between this pie crust and one made with traditional flour. Stay in touch, please, and hit that like button if you like this video. Cheers.